Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. Now, I know it's been a while. I got in a really great schedule of filming a lot of videos and uploading them and then I got sick. And let me tell you, everybody's getting sick. I am fully vaccinated. Now I don't have to wear masks when I go into stores and I believe, this is my own opinion, that our immune systems have been so down because they wear masks everywhere that we're bound to get sick. So, I have my little bit of sickness. I did not lose my sniffer, even though it sounds like it. I have a cup. It is orange juice, but I have my cup of orange juice. I have not one or two or three, but four pages of wax to talk to you guys about. This is my L3 Waxy Wonders ready to ship haul that was placed June 18th. So it's been almost a month since I placed this order, but I do like to give her wax about a month of cure time, and I also really just wasn't feeling the best um, ready to film videos. So I took a little bit of time off. I decorated for fall. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. <laughs> Just a little bit. But I did decorate for fall. A lot of these scents are fall fragrances. But before I do lose my voice during this entire video, let's get to sniffing. All right. So I'm looking at loaves and puppy packs and fluted tarts and bougie bars and all sorts of stuff. But let us start with the sticker. Every L3 Waxy Wonders comes with a sticker. And because this was the Pride Month restock, this says, be proud of who you are. And she did change her logo for this month to a little bit of rainbow hair, which I love. And we'll get into that a little bit later. But I did get my three samples right here. So the first one we have Sun and Sand, which is pretty self-explanatory. It smells just like the Sun and Sand fragrance from Yankee Candle. I'm not the biggest fan of that scent, and I'm not a big that type of scent person in general, but I'll put this away for next year and hope that you know, it throws. I've had a really good luck with her samples in my bathroom so far. I've only melted a little bit. Then we have Beach Nights White Elephant Exchange, which I'm not going to go over her White Elephant Exchange over and over and over again, but her White Elephant Exchange is powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. And mixed with the Beach Nights, which I do have a Beach Nights that is a warm blend of toasted marshmallow, sea breeze, and s'mores. So it's very much like a bonfire-y, marshmallow-y type of scent with salty sea air. It's really good mixed with like a super vanilla scent. And, oh, this is the last sample. Strawberry Pound Cake Marisho Maraschino Cherry Pistachio Ice Cream. I don't like cherry scents. And that is immediately what I smell. I do get strawberry pound cake. And I do get cherry. But I will say the cherry's not overpowering. It's not a very strong scent for the sample. I'm actually really surprised at that. But those are my samples. Everything else I absolutely adore because I really paid attention to what I wanted to place an order for. So why don't we start with Bougie Bars. I picked up four of her Bougie Bars, and if you're not sure what her Bougie Bars are, they are super fun. I'm not going to take each one out of the plastic, but I am going to take this first one out. So as you see, they kind of look like candy bars, and she has actually on her TikTok videos of her pouring these. So she actually pours in the mold both at once, and then they swirl together. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cubes on this i actually have four warmers behind me and three in my dining room so to me i'll use a whole bar at once pop one cube in each of the warmers and this is in predator i was so excited to find this set it is palo santo leaves type and pumpkin pecan waffles and it smells so good i immediately smell the pumpkin pecan waffles 
but in the background you get the leaves which is like a very warm mown apple cider and then my all-time favorite which is palo santo love that and these bars are so pretty the next one I have is in Beach Nights. Now, if you see this little sticker here, this says arrived on June 30th because that is that is when I received the package. I add those myself. I love making them. But this is in Beach Nights, which is a Bath & Body Works dupe as well. And this is the warm blend of toasted marshmallow, sea breezes, and s'mores. And again, it smells just like the salty sea air mixed with the marshmallow and like a beachy vibe. It's really, really nice. I love that scent. Then we have Blackberry Boardwalk Mallow Clouds and Fluffy Towels. I think it's really interesting that she does a lot of fluffy towels mixed with bakery. Because you see fluffy towels as like this really clean, fresh, uplifting scent mixed with blackberry and boardwalk mallow clouds which is like a super sweet marshmallow scent it really works the clean counteracts the overly sweetness of the bakery and really really cool and it's super pretty and the last bougie bar i was so excited for banana crepes so as you can see this is a little bit of yellow and a little bit of brown and i love banana scents i don't care if they smell like laffy taffy I don't care if they smell authentic. I just love any type of banana. And honestly, I'll be 100% with you, it smells like a Laffy Taffy banana. But I'm okay with that. I like that. So that is banana crepes. I'm not going to go super in-depth with all these because I have a lot. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about the bunts. So I got a few bunt packs, and the first one I was really excited about, Cinnamon Sugar White Elephant Exchange. So it's that super vanilla bakery white elephant exchange mixed with cinnamon and sugar. Oh, and this smells true to life, cinnamon sugar toast. Like when you, I always think it's funny, when they say it's kind of like, uh, oh my god, you must have been poor if you had cinnamon sugar toast. Honey, I make cinnamon sugar toast myself sometimes. If it's like 11 at night and I want something sweet, but I don't want to necessarily eat a piece of pie, which, who doesn't love a piece of pie? Pies before guys, just saying. And mixed with cinnamon sugar and toast, it's like, it's so good. And this is super authentically capturing that in a scent. It's amazing. Then we have E.T., which I was so... I keep saying I was so excited. I was so excited. You know why? Because I picked all these myself. These weren't mystery boxes. Reese's Pieces Pop Cupcakes. As much as I love banana, I'm also a sucker for anything peanut butter. And, oh, I don't necessarily say it smells like Reese's Pieces necessarily. But I definitely think it smells like a peanut butter cup and a super rich bakery. Like you could sink your teeth into it and instantly get a cavity. Then we have Dole Whip, which is sweet and tart, fresh cut pineapple blended with sweet, delicious, soft serve vanilla ice cream. I love me some Dole Whips. And this is awesome. This is very authentic pineapple, like juicy, fruity pineapple with rich vanilla ice cream. It smells just like a Dole Whip at Disney World. Mmm, heaven. Then I have plain old Palo Santo, which I was really excited about because I know what Palo Santo smells like. I love me some Palo Santo, but I wasn't sure what hers necessarily smelled like on its own. I can figure it out smelled with the other blends, but mm, it's exactly what I wanted it to be. It's that really expensive, I like to call it like what I picture. I've been to Restoration Hardware, it doesn't smell like that, but this is what I think Restoration Hardware should smell like. And then the last bunt I got, shout out to Danny for Danny Loves Wax, Rosemary Mint Bum Bum. She talked about this Bum Bum, yes it is pronounced Boom Boom, is the, that lotion that they sell at Sephora that smells so good. It is like a coconutty scent, which I'm not a fan of, but it's more of like a bakery coconut. And to be honest, I know when she said this, she said she gets more rosemary mint and bum bum 
they each like power each other. They each complement each other and bring out their best qualities. To me, I'm really just getting Rosemary Mint. Maybe it needs to cure longer. Maybe it'll smell different in the warmer. I'm really excited about it either way because I do love me some Rosemary Mint set. So I'm excited for this. I think that'll be a really good like evening time melt. I'm going to take a little sip of OJ, and next we're going to talk about some puppy packs. I picked up quite a few puppy packs. A lot of them are the White Elephant Exchange ones, so I'll try to get all the other ones out first. First one <clears throat> is Summer Boardwalk, which if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Summer Boardwalk from Bath & Body Works. It's salty sweet cream, warm taffy apples, and caramel glazed popcorn. I don't smell that in here. Like, every time I know Summer Boardwalk and I smell the candle, I instantly, like, know what that is. And I'm having a really hard time detecting almost anything out of this, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. Maybe it'll change when it goes in the warmer, but right now, I don't smell anything. Then we have Don't Cross Streams, which I was really excited to see on its own, which is the ultimate vanilla blend, adipose vanilla cookies, vanilla wafer, and vanilla ice cream. I don't know what adipose vanilla ice cream or vanilla cookies are, but this just smells like a really, really creamy vanilla scent. Not much more to it, but I'm excited to make this in my own blends to see what I like, and I like these puppy packs because all the different shapes, I can pop a shape into each of my warmers and call it a day. Now, <clears throat> speaking of Danny, like I talked about earlier in the video, this is Danny's blend, and it is available in the pre-order. I believe it's in scoops. I believe, because I have two on my list. Blue sugar zucchini bread, warm vanilla sugar. Guys. Blue Sugar is the men's cologne version of Pink Sugar by Aqualina. Zucchini Bread, which I'm not a huge fan of, and Warm Vanilla Sugar, which is just super basic. Everybody likes that. Oh. The Blue Sugar cuts any of that spicy, overly, like, to me, raw zucchini scent out of Zucchini Bread. It, bring, it enhances it but makes it better. And warm vanilla sugar just adds a creaminess to it. Oh my God. Literally, this arrived on June 30th. I cannot wait to melt this. Like, I wanna let it sit for the entire month and really let it get some cure time on it so I can pop those in my warmers. Ugh, I can't wait. The next one is So Fetch, which is strawberry pound cake. Today is October 3rd. I did get today is October 3rd in a loaf this time. You'll see, you'll see my insane loaves, but. Oh, again, so good, so yummy. Strawberry pound cake. And I feel like So Fetch almost makes strawberry pound cake a little bit less strawberry, which makes sense because today's October 3rd is like, from what I remember, it's like Palo Santo and sugar cookies. It's delish. Then, Peach Waffle Cone. I need this in a scoop. Oh, I love this. This, to me, is like peaches and cream frozen yogurt. Not ice cream. Frozen yogurt because you get a little bit of that, like, sour tartness in a really fresh baked waffle cone. Oh, wow, is that amazing. Like, amazing, 10 out of 10. Cannot wait to melt that. Then we have Fanta Orange Soda, which I was really excited about. I love me some fizzy scents. Oh, Shantae is sleeping, my little kitty. Oh, and I love this because it doesn't have that fizzy pop lemon lime scent. It's its own fizzy scent with the, the orange soda. Oh, I mean, it almost tickles your nose. It's so fizzy, which, love that. Yum, yum, yum. And now this scent. I was so excited. I was a little sad it was only available in puppy packs, but sugared apple type. That was a Yankee Candle years ago, and I loved it, but it never threw because 
old Yankee candles before the signature collection never throw. So it's exactly the same. This sugared apple scent from Yankee was so good, you guys. It's super hard to describe. I would not 100% say smelling it blind, I would know it was apple until you told me it was apple. But I even remember the label. It was like a white candle and it had an apple, like a beautiful like snow white apple covered in the light dusting of sugar. It's like a pretty scent. I would totally wear that in a perfume. So, Jennifer L3, if you're watching this, I don't know if you are or not, but one, I hope you had an amazing vacation. Two, I need sugared apple and body spray. Okay? Now we're into some white elephant exchange blends. Blueberries and cream white elephant exchange. I love blueberry scents. And this captures it. It almost makes blueberries and cream smell more like a blueberry cobbler dessert. Where you have, like, the blueberries almost turn into, like, a macerated, yes I said macerated, get your mind out of the gutter, it almost is like macerated blueberries where they get really juicy and that almost turns like into a super thick gooey blueberry texture whenever you bite into it. Oh, I love blueberry cobbler, strawberry cobbler, peach cobbler, any cobblers, I love them. And to me, that's what that smells like. Sweet Lavender White Elephant Exchange. I was excited to get this to put in my warmers next to my bed when I go to bed because, oh, I love, I love herbal lavender, but I do love me a sweet lavender. Sweet lavender, to me, sweet lavender smells like what a lavender body wash would smell like, like for kids, like if you're getting like a bedtime bath and mixed with White Elephant Exchange, new level, like ultimate comfort. Then we have Apple Pie White Elephant Exchange, which I was really super... Yeah, this was the one I was most excited about. And I love this because it takes the apple pie and it doesn't make it super spicy. It's almost like cinnamon sugared apple pie. Where in emphasis on the sugar. It has a very, very sweet apple mixed with the bakeriness of the White Elephant Exchange. Chef's kiss. And then last for the puppy packs, we have Pumpkin Pecan Waffles White Elephant Exchange, which Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is coming out in body care. You know I'm going to be taking a shower and a bath in Pumpkin Pecan Waffles every single night. I'm even thinking about doing pumpkin colored hair. Why not? Oh my god, I love this. It literally makes Pumpkin Pecan Waffles even better if that was even possible because Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is like heaven on earth. It has the most rich, syrupy, pumpkin, pecan. It's like super nutty and sweet. It like sitting there with your cup of OJ or coffee, snuggling on the couch, and it's like breakfast for dinner. And you get these rich Belgian waffles with pumpkin puree mixed into the batter with the best maple syrup, not artificial syrup, like the best maple syrup freshly tapped. <sighs> Heaven. I got a lot of wax. And now I have a big old stack of Fluta Tarts and 12 loaves. So let's continue on with this insane haul. Next we have my fluted tarts. Now fluted tarts come like this. It comes in a pack of four. I've never melted fluted tarts before from her. I assume I'm gonna cut them in half. So I have four warmers here, so I'll get two separate uses out of them. The first one is DeVille's Divine Desserts. Birthday cake with Godiva raspberry truffle filling and cotton candy frosting. What? The Godiva Raspberry Frosting immediately, like, did something to me, and I needed to buy it. Oh, to me, 
This smells just like a black raspberry truffle. Like a chocolate truffle that you bite into and you get the most beautiful, rich raspberry filling inside. Like, I mean, does it get really any better than that? I don't think so. And that is exactly what this smells like to me. 10 out of 10. Love that scent. Then we have Lil Red's Bountiful Basket. And this one says butter cookies, blueberry muffins, and strawberry jam. And as you know, I am a sucker for her strawberry jam scent. I love strawberry jam. And you immediately get that. That's the strongest note. Maybe it's because I really like it. I do get the blueberry muffin. I definitely get like that baked blueberry scent. And then butter cookies. More of like a blender scent, but I definitely pick up on equally. I would say the strawberry jam's like 70 and the cotton or the blueberry muffin is like 40. Oh my god, so good. And these bags got really dingy in transit, and now I'm talking about the next one. Mm is Susan the Gentle, and this one says Soothing Lavender Birthday Cake and Strawberry Jam. Again, anything with strawberry jam, I'm immediately drawn to. I get the strawberry jam, but I get a sweet lavender for sure. It's interesting, now see, this is one I would never ever think to combine lavender and strawberry. Like, lavender cake, yeah. Lavender blueberry, yeah. Why not lavender strawberry? He's cool because he has a big motorcycle. Oh, oh my god. I hope you guys heard that. <laughs> and I'm not like just randomly pausing in the video for a big old motorcycle to drive by. <sighs> then we have I'm the Oogie Boogie Man. Oogie Boogie Man, Oogie Boogie Man. Fluffy key lime cupcakes with buttercream, whipped frosting, and candied limes. So I love me a bakery scent, and a lime bakery scent is. It's not super unusual, but you don't find it a ton. It's definitely a candied lime frosting. Almost like you have a really rich lime frosting with a big piece of hard candy on top. Like you definitely get a super, super sweet lime frosting with just a hint of cake. It's yummy. I really like it. I think this will be really good. In the dead of winter when I'm craving summer, but I know I hate summer. Just want something more bright to warm. And then this one. Humperdink, I think. Lord of Misrule Vanilla B. Noel. Lord of Misrule is a lush type, which is like patchouli and vanilla. Love Lord of Misrule. And oh, immediately, Lord of Misrule, super strong. And honestly, I don't get... A ton of vanilla bean noel. I think that's mainly because the Lord of Misrule is so strong, but it's really nice. Wow. One bin done. Now I'm gonna rebag this or rebox this stuff up and switch over my loaf bin because I have 12 loaves to talk about. Alright, it is loaf time. So the first loaf that we will talk about is Fizzy Pop. Now, Fizzy Pop. Again, I love me some fizzy scents. I definitely have learned I prefer her frosty fizzy bubbly, which is her ginger ale scent, than her fizzy pop. But I'm excited to melt this. I'm also excited to melt this um, with other things. But it's like that lemon, lime, super fruity, zesty soda. And I'm trying to make sure that I get these bags all sealed. Then we have fresh pick, uh, strawberry jam, fresh picked strawberries. And it's interesting that this is just a solid white. I thought it would be like a bright red, but oh my god. As you know, one of my top scents from Jennifer is her Ant's Jam Filled Jelly Rolls, which is like <clears throat> strawberry jam, powdered sugar, icing, cat pound cake, and this is just that filling, that strawberry jam filling. And some people love strawberry jam, some people hate it. To me, it's like heaven. I love how rich and seedy the, oh, 
dog hair, cat hair, um, how seedy the jam is. It's, oh, it's so good. Today is October 3rd, which is Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow. You immediately get that Palo Santo, that really, really fresh woody scent, mixed with a super sweet marshmallow and cookie. It's such a good combination. I know Danny says she buys this by like the truckloads because she's constantly warming it in her house. Then we have some fall pumpkin marshmallow Twinkies. I was really excited for this one. And it definitely does not disappoint. It's not spicy pumpkin at all. It's more... <clears throat> I would say the pumpkin is very much in the background. It's more like a super sweet marshmallow cake. Maybe the pumpkin comes out more when it's melting, but right now I'm only getting like a super sweet cake. <clears throat> then we have White Elephant Exchange. I was really excited this restock with the Lowe's had a lot of scents that I wanted to try on their own. And White Elephant Exchange, again, is powdered donuts, Vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. I get the vanilla wafers, 100%. And then I get like a store-bought vanilla icing. Yeah, it's so good though. It's so good. It's like an ultimate vanilla bakery scent. Then I picked up Sweet on Paris Palo Santo Don't Cross Streams. So it's another super sweet vanilla mixed with Palo Santo and Sweet on Paris, which is like a blackberry lemon bakery. Oh, so good. So good. Another <clears throat> Sweet on Paris. Oh my lord. Better. Sweet on Paris is one of the best scents that Bath & Body Works made that's never come back. And mm, mixed with Palo Santo, I have a strawberry pancake, strawberry pancake, Strawberry Pound Cake Vanilla Birch Sweet on Paris that I love. I love that scent. Then we have Espresso Cinnamon Sugar. Today is October 3rd. Another thing I'm a sucker for is coffee scents. Oh. Today is October 3rd. That Palo Santo cookie mixed with cinnamon sugar. Again, you get like that cinnamon sugar toast with a coffee scent. The coffee is not super overwhelming in this scent. It is there, but it's not super, super overwhelming, which I really appreciate. Then, oh my God, does this not scream fall or what? Cider Lane Hufflepuff. So Hufflepuff is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. So to me, I picture like a really rich pumpkin cookie with cinnamon sugar on top. And then Cider Lane is a really rich caramel apple. I'll be honest, Cider Lane is not that powerful in this. Hufflepuff is definitely stronger. I haven't smelled Hufflepuff on its own. I did order it in the pre-order, but I definitely feel like... Like, I smelled Cider Lane on its own, obviously. It's a Bath & Body Works scent. And Cider Lane, like, typically overpowers everything. It's a lot more in the background here. Which I'm not complaining. I like that. Then, the one I think I was the most excited about is a banana cinnamon roll. Because it just sounds so different. Like, bananas and cinnamon rolls. And it works so well. Now, to me, this is more of a true banana. Where banana crepes was more Laffy Taffy banana. And maybe it's because the cinnamon roll in here brings out the banana. Oh, what a different combination that I'm really excited about. And don't quote me, but I believe it's in the it's in the ready to ship that's coming out on the 16th. I believe, because I think I put it on my list. In scoopables, I think. And then the last loaf before I get to the special loaf is Blackberry Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. This is that frosty. Mmm. Her, oh my god. This is my happy scent. For one, it matches my hair. I love a scent that matches my hair. But, blackberry frosty fizzy bubbly. So, blackberry ginger ale. It's 
so good. The frosty fizzy bubbly literally smells like a cold glass of ginger ale. Like it's crazy. And it was my friend's birthday party and um, they brought out champagne in frosted glasses and as soon as I had that champagne in a frosty glass I immediately thought of this scent because it is so rich and so bright and really so cold it like tickles your nose. Now the last loaf is White Elephant Exchange Blackberry Lemon Curd but it's a very special loaf and I don't want to say any, I don't want to toot my own horn but I basically asked for this. She posted something about Pride and changing her logo for Pride and I said if you're gonna do Pride, obviously I'm gay if you haven't known. <laughs> Surprise! Um, and But I'm not super into going to Pride. I don't really drink. I mean I said I had champagne at dinner but that's like maybe a once a month type of thing and I have the champagne toast. That's it. And to me, like, I do love supporting, but I don't go to parades. I don't do anything like that. That's just my own opinion. I'm a homebody when it comes to stuff like that. But anyway, I told her, I figured, as soon as I thought of Lowe's, I'm like, you should create a pride loaf. And she's like, oh my god, Drew, I love that idea. I'm going to do it. And she made 250 of these. You ready? Look at this. So this starts with red, yellow, a little bit of green, blue, and purple, and it is a loaf. I can't imagine how long this takes to make, but it smells so good. You do get a really rich bakery, that vanilla bakery, from the White Elephant Exchange, and blackberry lemon curd. It is so good. I'm gonna pop this back in the tin. I can't even wait. I wanted to order two. I don't know why I didn't. I was just in a rush hoping to get one that I forgot to add two to my cart. But I'm so excited. She is. She did do in her pre-order a um, pride scoopable, which I'm also super excited for. So it's going to be like a layered scoop. But oh my god, I'm so happy that Jennifer did this. Jennifer is just such a sweet person. I know she just got back from vacation, so Jennifer, I hope you had an amazing vacation. I already stated that before, but you have done such an amazing job building this amazing company, loyal customers, the blends you do are incredible. I've only melted a few small pieces because I'm waiting for all my things to cure in my bathroom, and the throw is amazing. Like, I cannot wait to dive into all this wax. I'm ready for fall, as you can tell. That's why I got a lot of fall blends. And I'm just so excited. Thank you, Jennifer, so much for creating such an amazing company. I can't wait to get my pre-order and order from your next restock. Let me know, you guys, if you've tried anything from L3, what you love, if you participated in this restock. Hope nobody gets sick. And if you do, I wish you well. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.